anyone who has tested positive for COVID? No. Um, have either one of you lost your ability to taste or smell? Uh, yeah, I cannot smell. I can't taste. Oh, no. Okay. And what about a cough? Have either of you experienced a cough? Yeah. Uh, no. What yes. about shortness of breath? Yes. No, I haven't had that. Okay. Let me take your temperature, please. Okay. Yeah. Since you are both suffering from COVID symptoms, you will need to leave school immediately and will be gone for two weeks. Two weeks later. the class that you're in that for that hour and then you go to me can't hear can't see bad grades no good during the course of the 2021 school year here at Fairgrove we have had 18 positive cases and 163 people quarantined let's make sure that we are keeping those numbers down and masked up So, you know, through, through the COVID crisis, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, a lot of things that we have in place uh, have been under the, you know, the guidance of the CDC and Greene County. And, you know, you guys are aware of most of those precautions. Um, as, you, as you know, wearing masks um, is, is a big one. Um, spacing out uh, the best that we can. Um, you know, lunchroom seating, um, you know, going from one lunchroom to two lunchrooms. Um, you know, those are all, all things that have played in, um, you know, temperature checks for athletes, um, you know, social distancing for athletes, social distancing on the buses, um, limiting, um, you know, field trips and things of that nature. Republic High School has created a Rep Mo Return to Learn plan through the school's website that lists and informs all of the students and faculty of all precautions and rules that they have taken in order to slow down the spread of COVID-19. Josie McPhail, Director of Communications at the high school, stated that Republic has to prohibit any outside visitors and limit the capacity of athletic competitions in order for fans to social distance. All students and faculty members, fourth grade and up, are required to wear a mask unless social distanced. When asked on how the students have followed these rules, she said that staff and administrators are very pleased with the students' behavior due to COVID-19 and the guidelines that they are following. She also stated that just like any other school, there are still those pockets of kids who need to be reminded to wear their mask and follow guidelines. You know, going, going into this school year, um, you know, that was a, a big concern was how was um, our uh, kids going to respond to all the things that was asked of them. And for me, the biggest concern was, was this right here, the mask. Um, you know, how were our kids going to do with that? And um, I could not be any prouder uh, of our student body. Um, do we have some issues of, of kids letting them slip below their nose and, and things of that nature? Absolutely. Uh, but as a whole, um, our students have been awesome. Uh, they've had a great attitude with um, all of these changes. I think they're thankful to be here at school. And so um, they did everything that we've asked them to do. And so, um, you know, uh, I just can't, can't say enough about our, about our students and how they've responded. I miss most of my family and friends uh, because it's uh, a long way from home. Uh, it's not, not my first language, so uh, it's hard to uh, a few times to speak or think about words. Uh, I think in the summers it's really nice and hot, and uh, it's like a vacation and uh, the outside of like America. Just the nature is like all hills and not flat. So um, to speak the English language, uh, so it's yeah harder. Okay, first of all, we have five years of elementary school, three years of middle school, and other five years of high school. Uh, 
we have like at the end of the high school we have to go to Vegas to exam and after that we go to the university or we can decide to uh, work. Yeah. Uh, we have like different subjects and different skills every day and uh, we have the same classmates so we have one road and the teacher like uh, change every classes every hour and it's the from 8 a.m. to 1 or 2 p.m. Uh, it depends on the day and I also go to school on Saturday. Okay, so here in America there is a really good relationship with students and teachers. In fact, they really help you. Okay, so I experienced a lot of things and I really like the football game. Um, uh, I also think that there are a lot of fast food, a lot of choice that we don't have at all. Uh, we just have like McDonald's, um, Burger King, the best one, and also the landscape. I really like it. And of course the people, they are all, all nice and uh, yeah. So at school we don't have any like activities. We don't have like sports at school, but outside school I played volleyball. We had like practice twice a week and then I a game on Saturday and just hanging out with friends and stuff. Now, my favorite part of the season has been our two tournaments that we've had. The Buffalo tournament where we were all chilling out in the lobby and we had squishies and Audrey threw hers up on the ceiling and we couldn't get it down. And then our Pleasant Hope tournament where we got third place. For my personal improvements, I gotta say that I feel like my hitting has gotten a lot better. Um, everyone obviously has ups and downs, but um, Lately, I feel like I've been able to really like focus on where I want the ball, whether it is hard, a hard hit, or whether it's just a controlled down ball. It didn't really go the way we hoped. We won our first game, but we lost the second one. I hope that they will continue to work really hard and that they'll keep their positive attitudes. Uh, some of our highlights this season have been the games that we went five with people. It's been a lot of fun um, watching the girls um, compete and battle in those close games. And then finally in the district to be able to pull off that five set win was um, extremely exciting. So that was a big highlight. And then also um, placing third in the Pleasant Hope Tournament. Um, we had a great day that day and it was just a lot of fun to compete on the floor. What are some things FFA is planning to do this year? Uh, for FFA this year, we have had our national convention watch party, um, where we were actually able to watch it uh, live streamed in the Ag Building. Um, we are planning on uh, still their Christmas party. Hopefully, some things will open up next spring. We'll be able to compete in our contests and uh, have some of that stuff going as well. You know, with our fall contests or fall speaking. Uh, that's kind of the big things we're planning on right now. Has COVID affected anything you were planning on doing this year for FFA? COVID's affected uh, our FFA, FFA activities a lot, just like everybody else. Um, our, a lot of our contests have been transitioned to being held virtually. Had to utilize Zoom quite a bit. Um, we've had, you know, as you guys know, the Fall Festival being canceled and some of our Farm Fest trips being canceled. Um, as well, it affected by canceling the live National FA convention, so that affected the normal 75,000 people we get to go to convention with, where we had to just do it on live stream. Um, so it's affected kind of some of our fun stuff, fun activities we normally do. So I guess the biggest opportunities is, uh, with COVID, we've had some opportunities for students to get more involved in activities that they may not have before. Uh, we were able to go ahead and have virtual state contests this fall when we got back to school. I gave students that may have not gotten a whole lot of experience last year in that opportunity to still compete and get some points towards their state degree in the future. 
Well, hopefully, uh, at some point, we get past COVID uh, and we get to get uh, you know just our freshman students and all of our group back out and do more activities. Last year, we missed out on a lot of things in the spring as far as contests, state convention. We've got a really good group of seniors that have done a lot of work and put a lot of effort in. I don't want to see them be able to be rewarded with some trips, uh, and some of the fun stuff that we've got to do in the past, and finish out their FFA career in high school well. I want those freshmen to be able to actually have some experience, and see what the FFA is about, uh, and have some fun, and interact with kids from other schools, and, and get to make new friends. It's what a lot of our events are based upon is meeting new people, getting out of your comfort zone, and, and building relationships. So hopefully we can get back to that. So the raffle that we did this year was, we usually do this raffle during the fall festival, but since we didn't have that this year, so we just decided to do it on its own. It's basically a raffle, it's basically a fundraiser for the FFA. But this year we did some more prizes because um, the fall festival was all our main fundraiser, so we did more prizes this year so we could hope to get more people attracted to our raffle and gain more money for the FFA. Well, the raffle did pretty good this year. We sold 3000 over $3,000 worth of tickets, so that would raise some good money for the FFA, and I'd say it was a pretty productive year. At the Green Hand Conference, we went through like several different rotations talking about um, our SAA projects, uh, working on teamwork, and different leadership skills. The Green Hand Conference was a fun um, experience of the freshmen just to um, see what FFA is more about. And just, it was just a fun experience. National Convention is where FFA members from all across the country meet in Indianapolis, Indiana for different sessions, speakers, and events. Usually we attend a concert and listen to a keynote speaker. However, this year we're doing a live stream of this session at the Ag Building, where we are going to have food, games, and activities for the freshmen to be able to get more involved. I believe that I speak for everybody in the chapter when I say that we are disappointed we cannot go to these certain events. However, we are just trying to keep everybody healthy and we're looking forward to a time where we can attend these events.